All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakar Kodash. The Bar the Apostles, the Great Millstorm, teaching us, the Most Saint Truth, according to Bar Well, and peace and blessings to all to the nation of Israel. Take through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Today's lesson is going to be titled, Hit the Streets. You know, as I am here watching the beloved elder uh, Natsaba, you know, from South Carolina, JMS South Carolina 08, you know, men in purple didn't teach me the name of the Lord, you know. You know, and there's a lot of people in the background, a lot of people passing, and you see the importance, you know, of Yahabai Shema Shai sending us out on the highways and hedges, you know, as Saturdays, you know, Friday night, Sundays, those are the days of the world where people go out and, you know, most people have off those days. So they, you know, go into the inner workings of the city, right? And they are uh, buying and selling, eating, right? A lot of commerce is going on, right? And you can find the prophets there of Yahweh by Shema Shai preaching the words, to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, tell them to turn back and repent, right? This is a Jeremiah 5 and 1. It says, run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem. That's speaking to the prophets of Yah by Shema Washah. Jerusalem, you know, in these times being the people for us a place, you know, we're running to the streets, you know, the highways and hedges, you know, uh, the chief place of concourse where you find what Israel Israelites, you know, which which are scattered amongst the heathen, right? Let's get that in um, uh, the book of Tobit. Uh, Tobit thirteen and three. It says, "Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel." For he has scattered us among them, right? So Yahweh Shema Shai has scattered us among the Gentiles. And that's why, you know, we go out on the highways and hedges, right? And confess the names of Yahweh Shema Shai and all the mighty works that the Lord is going to perform here in these last days. Jeremiah 5 and 1, run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof, right? In the NLT, it says, look high and low, search throughout the city, right? If there, if ye can find the man, if there be any that executive judgment that seeketh the truth, right? Yahweh Shema Shai is seeing those who are seeking the truth, and I will pardon it, right? And these times the Lord is going to pardon that individual who is seeking him, right? And who is who 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 is going to repent. You know, Yahweh Shema Shah is going to have mercy upon those who repent, upon those who turn back, right? But Yahweh Shema Shah is looking for those men who are seeking the truth, as it tells us here in St. John 4. And um I want to say 23. Yep, but the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him, right? The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So you must worship Yahweh Shema Shai in spirit and in truth, right? And this is the hour that the men of the, the the believers will come back, right? And believe on Yahweh by Shema Shai, right? And the ministry, you know, uh for the most part will be on the highways and the hedges. This is Saint John nine and four. It says, I must work I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day, the night cometh when no man can work, right? So while Yahweh Shai, it says, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world, right? So while we've been given this grace period, you know, and the mercies of Yahweh Shai are in the streets, 
right? Yahweh Shema Shai is showing our people great mercy by sending forth his messengers, right? Uh, 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 you know, we are the lights of the world. You know, us being the ambassadors for Yahweh Shai in these last days, Yahweh Shai has sent forth us with his gospel, well, you know, the gospel, you know, of the Heavenly Father, right? The good news, uh, the gospel of reconciliation, right? To turn back, you know, but the night cometh, the famine, the word is ultimately going to come and no man is going to work, right? No man, the, the teachers are not going to be out there. The Lord is going to hide his wisdom, right? And Esau, Edom is going to have his reign for the last time, <clears throat> To bring all type of hell and chaos upon our people. This is Second Chronicles 36 and 15. And the Lord Yahweh, power of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, rising up beat times and sending them because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. So this is Yahweh Shema Shai having compassion on his people, right? And as Yahweh Shema Hashem is having compassion on his people, right, by sending forth his messengers, we must hit the highways and hedges to please Yahweh Shema Hashem. As the Lord, he has cared for his people, right, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You know, he's risen up men, right, to preach his word, and he has commanded them. And you can read this in Matthew 22. It goes into how men made excuses, right? You know, but when you read, you know, uh, St. Matthew 22 and 9, it says, Go ye therefore into the highways, right? And as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those, so those servants went out into the highways and gathered Together, all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests, right? So the, the reunion of the nation of Israel, us being uh, brought back to the Heavenly Father via our mediator, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, is done by the preaching of the word on the highways and hedges, right? And some came in that were good. And some came in that were bad, right? And the bad was cast, you know, back into the world. You know, there shall be a weeping and gnashing of teeth, right? But once you put your hand to the plow, you cannot look back, right? As this is, um, this is a St. Luke chapter 14 i'm gonna start verse 21 so that servant came and showed his lord these things then the master of the house being angry said to his servants go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city bring in hither the poor and the maimed in the hall and the blind right in the lord yahweh shema Shai, right tells you in isaiah 61 the lord has anointed me to preach a uh, glad tidings to the meek Right, to bind up the brokenhearted, right? Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, has a has you know put a, you know, of course, I'm speaking of Yahweh Shai, but it applies to us in these times, right? As we are doing the things that He has commanded us to do. Verse 22, and the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto, unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, come, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. You see? Compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. You see? And that's a commandment that Yahweh, that Yahweh Shai has given us. Right? To compel, you know, to threaten them with the words, right? To preach the glad tidings, right? This is the good news, you know, if you come back and repent, and these, this is the bad news, if you continue on in your wickedness, right? This is a, a Proverbs 1 and 20, right? It says, wisdom crieth without, she utter her voice in the streets. So wisdom crieth in the streets, Right, she crieth in the chief place of concourse, right, 
and in the opening of the gates in the city, she uttered her words, saying, I'm going to um, read an NLT, right? Wisdom shouts in the streets. She cries out in the public square. She cries out to the crowds along the main streets, to those gathered in front of the city gates, right? Yalba Shema Shai, you know, has wisdom crying out to you. You know, the scriptures say, does not wisdom cry? And, uh, and, and understanding lift up her voice, you know? So wisdom is crying. I'm going to get, um, count, yep. This is, um, Wisdom of Solomon. I'm sorry, Proverbs 8 and 1. It says, does, does, it says, does not wisdom cry, right? So wisdom is calling out to our people. The wisdom of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know? Uh, you know, uh, you know, wisdom is the good choice, right? The, the this knowledge that we're teaching us, we're teaching our people the good choices, right? We're teaching our people how to make their de to to dedicate their lives to serving Yahweh by Shema Shai, so that they may find mercy, and more importantly, we're getting the blood off of our hands by us doing the things that Yahweh by Shema Shai has commanded us to do. You know, does not wisdom cry? And understanding put forth her voice, right? It says she standeth in the top top of high places by the way in places of the path. She crieth at the gates, right? The entrance of the cities, right? At the entrance of the city. Hey, I didn't know I was going to say that. At the coming in at the doors, Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Right? So Yahweh Shema Shai is calling his men, you know, starting with the men to come back and repent, right? To, to seek Yahweh Shema Shai. Right? And he's speaking through his men. Yahweh Shema Shai, he's speaking through, you know, the men of the Lord. Let's um get one more precept and uh, we'll close it out. You know, no. the Lord says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me, right? All to the intent that you may uh, get the blood off of, uh, off of your hands, you know? You know, uh, I will, I will, you know, I was going to get one more, but I, I, I want to, I want to, mm, I will get thee to the great men, right? Oh, that was in Jeremiah 5. Yep. Um, Jeremiah 5 and um, 5. I'm reading NLT. It says, So I will go and, and, and speak to their leaders, right? Surely they know the ways of the Lord and understand God's laws, right? And the leaders today are the apostles. And that was a great millstone. Yahweh by Shema Washai you know, uh, has set up men, right? Let's keep reading. It says, Surely they know the ways of the Lord and understand God's laws, but the leaders, too, as one man, have has thrown off God's yoke and broken his chain. So Yahweh Shema Washai, you know, is going to require, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, a judgment to befall you know, wicked leaders that are not doing the work of the Lord, right? This is, uh, so, so you know, we, we must, according to Zechariah 8 and uh, 16, right? It says, it says, these are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates, right? So you have to show our people where they're going off at, tell them the, the judgments, you know, speak the truth onto them, right? And these are things that we're commanded to do, right? You know, what is that in the Leviticus? Uh, I, always, I, always, I always think it's 19 and 17, yep. Leviticus nineteen seventeen it says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart in thine heart, thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, and not suffer sin upon him. Do not curse, do not nurture hatred in your heart, nurse hatred in your heart, 
for any of your relatives confront people directly so you will not be held guilty for their sin, right? So confront them, rebuke them, right? So we don't found guilty, you know, for the sins of two-thirds of our people, right? Let's get that in Ezekiel 3 and 17, and, and we'll close it out, you know? So we're supposed to be hitting the streets. As the Lord said, he will set up watchmen, which shall never hold their peace, you know, day nor night, right? Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. This is uh, Ezekiel 3 and 4, and he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel. Go. Go to the highways and edges. Go get thee unto the house of Israel, you know, to the cities of Jerusalem, and speak what my words unto them. Jumping down to verse 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth. And give them warning for me. It's uh, 1144. Call on me Shai. It says, When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I acquire at thine hand. Right? So you're going to be responsible for their deaths, <laughs> you know, because you knew better, right? You know, the Lord set you up as a watchman, right? You didn't choose it, right? Yeah, I mean, no, we didn't choose this, right? But but we we, we have a dispensation of the gospel. We, we've been given a portion of, you know, uh, of the Holy Spirit. And, and we have a duty. We have a requirement. Woe unto me if I preach not the gospel, right? Woe, woe, unto, woe unto that man that, that holdeth his sore back from... From blood, right? His spiritual sword. It says, Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul, right? You know, just, you know, I, I wasn't really expecting to do a lesson tonight. I was going to chill, you know, just watch some videos and just get ready for, uh, you know, work in the morning. But, you know, the spirit kind of hopped on me, you know, tied on my head. So, the wall of y'all by Shema was shy. You know, uh, Lord's willing, lessons are the fine. Till next time we say, Shalom.